Okay guys, well, here we are, it's Wednesday morning. Look how fucking dark it is outside. But it'll brighten up soon. It's like 7 a.m., so it's not bad. Anyway, we're gonna get in here, turn the lights on. I'm gonna give you guys a little update what's going on around here. You've gotten a few how-to videos, now we're gonna give you an update. Taking in the dark, Halloween is near. Okay, if you remember, the 60 Chev pickup of Riches. We told you we did the wiring on this truck maybe six, seven months back. He was happy with the work we did. He brought it back, where now we're doing a disc brake conversion kit. So as you can see, we got Darren out here actually doing this. We didn't have any wiring for Darren this week, so I put him on to this. And he's good at doing this kind of stuff and he enjoys it. So we got the, uh, the booster and we've got the, the uh, master cylinder all mounted. We've got the lines all ran down below there. See down below, we've got the, uh, we've got the spindles in place. They're a two and a half inch drop spindle with our rotors. It's all mounted in there. Everything's looking good. Come around the other side here, give you a glimpse. There you go right there. So Rich's truck is coming along. This is a very nice truck. Somebody, Rich bought this truck off a guy and whoever had it, they took it off the frame and they did a really nice job on it. They didn't build it into a show truck. They just took it apart, cleaned it up, made it a very nice clean driving truck and took care of all the issues. Uh, Rich just wasn't happy with the drum brakes. He wanted to go disc. And hey, that's, that's been something that people have been doing for years. You remember back in the day, people took mechanical brakes and went to juice brakes. And it's always something people are upgrading on because that's a safety issue. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So there's all the old shit laying right there. The old spindles, the old drums, the master, the booster. Now, if you can see in the background, we got, this is Graham's frame that we just showed you the how-to on from the 66 Ford pickup. So we've got it sitting out here right now because I've got the diff down at my, my differential guy, Rod. And he's going through the whole differential and making sure that's good. So once we get that back, then we'll get the frame in, we'll get the diff put in it. Um, Darren's little bay, don't know if you noticed in the background, used to be dark in here. Well, we finished off the wall over here. We insulated it all. We put all the plywood up. I don't put drywall up. I put plywood up in shops because drywall is a fucking nuisance. Because if you miss a stud, it just is a hole in the wall where plywood, at least you can put a few things, nail a few and a few things in it and screw some things in. So we fixed up Darren's end a bit, got him kind of set up here a little bit better. And um, I don't know what else to tell you. We got Colby's truck way over here in the dark, and of course the Pontiac is still undercover. Let's walk in the shop here and we'll see okay, what's so going on. Okay, so in the shop now. here we got Gus's truck. It's ready to go off for paint. That's why we got her all covered up. She's good and ready to go there. Another fine job that Dr. Dave has done. Now, we've got Dan's 37 Ford, it's back in the shop, which I told you it would be. You guys saw the how-to on that one, where we did the, uh, the back leaf springs in the frame. Okay, well we've got Dan's in the shop, and uh, Dan's car is ready to be bolted down to the frame. And on these cars, when you bolt them down, there's shim kits that are required to get everything to line up properly, uh, just to get the door gaps in that. Believe it or not, when you bolt the body down, it does... It does change the gaps, and if you think about it, if you tighten the body a little tighter on the front than the back, it's going to open the gaps up here and there. So Dan just wanted to do the firewall shiny black, so Dave sprayed her last night. This we were able to spray in the shop. He sprayed her shiny black. That way there, because the motor underneath this towel here, a blanket, is in there. It's just done. It's over with. We don't have to try and get in there and paint and do anything. And don't forget, the body on this car, if you go back to my videos way back when, probably six, seven months ago when we were working on this car, the body is already in its final primer. So it's a matter of mounting it down now, then we've got to start working on the doors and the deck lid and the front sheet metal and oh my god, there's still tons to go. So that's what's going on with Dan's. Dave's in here working away on Gus's uh, box for the 36 Chevy pickup, getting it all prepped and ready for paint. And that's all what's going on. So hey, I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember, oldtimegarage.ca, look us up. We're constantly putting video, or I mean, pictures up there of what we've been working on under projects and what projects have come and gone. There's lots of photos. We got new t-shirts on the way. I told you they were coming, they're coming. They're probably around a month out. We got new t-shirts, new decals. We got a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna be coming up on the uh, for sale item up there. So thanks a lot for subscribing, guys. We'll see you later. It's always a good time at old time. We'll see you next time.